Mm, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play as Gran Colombia. And in this episode we have finally, uh, well finally, we have landed on the North American mainland and we have sieged the cities of St. Augustine and Savannah. First of all we're going to take Savannah because it should be the easier one to take and we will assault St. Augustine uh, with artillery and have to breach their defences. But first of all, let's take Savannah. So attacking Florida is going to be the uh, the trickier proposition because they've actually got fortifications and they've got more troops and they've got some marines in there. So we're going to need to do it smartly. Um, but I'm hoping by taking Savannah, which is currently doesn't have defences, this force to the north to the north will be able to fight any North American counter-attack that would be my plan so the hope is I can take this city with a minimal loss of life to preserve my forces enough so that when the counter strike comes we are in a position to knock it back so we have a number of veteran formations but the bulk but a good chunk of our forces are green significant mounted component is very nice oh the enemy the enemy have actually deployed in front of us Make sure my tribal auxiliary are up front. Uh, Colonial light outnumbers theirs. <clears throat> yeah, my howitz is focusing on their infantry formations. The muskets will begin firing imminently. Send my Clenial Dragoons forward to engage their general. There we go, we're engaging them on the right flank. Garrison line are being pushed back, the Hessian line are advancing. We have native troops hidden somewhere, so that's something to be aware of. There they are. Another native unit, native bow auxiliary. Advance my right flank up. Pull my cavalry back. Try to pursue their bowmen while we can. Focus the bulk of their artillery fire against these infantry formations resisting us. There's some US volunteers. Come on, Grenadier regiments, open fire. formation broken, two formations broken. Plenty of Dragoons are a bit exposed. Whoa, cavalry traps, cavalry traps. Hello, native troops. Oh, 
Gucci. Yeah, my scare yeah, my clone of dragoons are probably gonna are oh, they yeah they're definitely gonna break. So the hope is I can knock out the musketman auxiliary pretty quick. Before they set my general's bodyguard. Turn your light and gaze the bowmen with mounted tribal auxiliary and tear in the militia, a new one. These men forward. You men charge the auxiliary. Bring my light cavalry forward. Bring a grenadier unit back. Artillerymen are abandoning their guns. Howitzers engage the 36th, Wood Artillery engage the 36th as well. Not ideal with my light my light cavalry getting jumped like that. Push through the town. is to come up and hit the native warriors in the rear because they will cut through my light cav but I need to keep them there to pin them there we go now they're not so happy very unhappy imminently oh, they're sticking around Push, push, push. Grenadiers, I mean, ultimately, Grenadiers aren't going to be needed. We blasted a volley into the general's bodyguard. See if we can kill an, Amer an American general on their home soil. Now uh, they escaped, as did the bowmen. Savannah has been taken. Let's see if we can mop up Florida. Yep, there are troops ready to intercept, but make sure we replenish. Depends what sort of condition they're in. They are already depleted, but we don't know by how much. Let's maybe not build anything yet. Is they're going to raid? I would imagine. Well, if they don't attack us, they'll raid us. They're 100% Catholic anyway. Shit, that's a point. I send my agent forward to Charleston. Begin convert, or try and convert. It looks like, oh, they have a College of Divinity, so that will provide some resistance. But this one's the trickier one, because they've got Continental Marines. They're good troops. And native Musketman Auxiliary. So we're likely going to want to put multiple breaches Multiple breaches against the walls form pockets around the breaches while we continue to bombard, lure enemy infantry out of the walls, and then push in and take them out. My horse artillery is going to be not as useful. I mean, they may be useful... Well, they will be useful when we push up. So let's probably deploy... Here is, here is as good as anywhere. So my 12 pounders deploy to bombard the walls. My howitzers just shoot at whatever they like. My three pounders hold. So 
So we have to make a number of breaches. A number of breaches to spread their firepower out. I mean, in theory, I may as well have my artillery, my horse artillery, doing something. They're auto shooting at something, so I'm inclined to let them do it, because I want to see what they shoot at. Only one gun, though. And my howitzers are dropping shells on the centre, which is just fine. General's bodyguard, first horse guard I saw here somewhere. Curious, yeah. They're French. <laughs> <laughs> he does not want to be here at all. Sorry, fella. You're done for. Let's speed up time. Let my artillery go to work. I hope they aren't going to work. There we go. So, yeah, we create... Create some breaches. Oh, there's the Continental Marines. See, I like those. Those guys look good. I'm not entirely sure about the hats, but... Colour scheme looks good. Green and red. I like it. But yeah, as we not make, make our breaches, they'll be forced to pull men off the walls to defend them, and that's when we advance, including our... I mean, my horse artillery... Oh, my howitzers are... aren't in as good condition, but that's okay. Let's limber up this horse artillery unit. Advance this wing forward. Should be starting to knock down this section of the wall. They're pulling back to the centre, 13th Regiment of Foot. The volunteers are on the move, as are the Continental Marines in amongst all that. They're doing it again. I don't know why my howitzer decided to stop shooting. Pop, pop, pop. No, my 12 pounders are still doing it. Go after this. Instead, they are determined. There we go. Yeah, they've abandoned... Well, they've, they've abandoned the walls completely. They're just dropping shells in the middle of their... Infantry positions. Where is their... Continental Marines. That's who we want to get after. So I want some grenadiers here. So this typically will drive them to push out and try and attack me. Can't really do anything back here. Fuego! 
At the double. Yep. Yeah. That's a charge, all right. So there we go. That's the Curassier are going to push out to bring you back. Let's also maybe bring up almost all of my cavalry. Form square. Oh god, they're all coming out. I hadn't planned on needing to use this many men yet. Yeah, my ground is to hold the square. God, oh, Jesus, they are swarming out. Last one continuous area with Hannister Shop. Because you men secure the gate, you men don't run down off of the wall. For the love of God, don't do that. Attack the breach with Canister Shop. Just constantly attack it. We've got two units of continental marines out here. Eventually we will secure the gate, which means this will close. Your Sierra Oh no, they've sent the native war auxiliary human. Get off the wall. <laughs> Abandon the wall. <laughs> the human jump on the Curassier. The poor frontiersmen. Okay, two units are going to cover that breach. But these two units are going to get up here and cover this breach. Howitzers are engaging. Those frontiersmen were never going to last very long. Not when the native war auxiliary came up. So you men are just going to run along the wall. Just try to stay away from them. Engage the marines. So you men blasting the line infantry. Yeah, I think yeah, we lost the gatehouse, unsurprisingly. Grenadiers form square. Be honest, I think now is the time to try push in. Make sure we kill those marines. Here are Sierra defeated. Run, frontiersmen, run! Bayonet charge the infantry. You can squeeze the general's bodyguard. It'll be very useful to take him out. And the 11th regiment are going down. This is the important thing, is we need to push and expand out of the bridgehead. The 
you might need to get in as well. Okay, everyone needs to get in. Can't afford to have any layabouts. Let's get my general up here as well, because he's been left behind. Get my get a unit of cavalry to stay out here and attack the native musketman auxiliary. Run a cavalry unit through to the breach. She charge in the back of the 13th regiment because they are holding up one of our line units. Engage the general's bodyguard. See if we can kill their general. You men are just slogging through. Okay, actually, let's get you inside Howitzer's ceasefire. You men secure. Secure the center. Start the count. Clone your dragoons in. You may have to fight the mercenaries to help protect the 22nd. Get my general's bodyguard in. You men keep engaging the 13th regiment. Slowly hacking our way through the tenth. We have to commit my general in against the armed citizenry. We can't afford anybody hanging around not doing anything, including these guys. Infantry just cease fire because it could work both ways. You're holding off the mercenaries. Um, citizenry is not far off of breaking at all. These grenadiers have cleared them out. The glorious standard flies high. You men engage the 13th. The 22nd just has to hold. They don't have to win, just hold. Keep them occupied 15 more seconds. Although, frankly, I think we are in a good position. Kill the enemy general. The native or auxiliary units have ground down my infantry, but they haven't taken them out. Yeah, I think we're in a good spot. They're wavering, so once these guys break or someone else breaks, push through, take the line infantry out. Ooh, always click continue. But there we go. I, I, yeah, it's always a bit more <clears throat> tricky when you're trying to do city assault. I mean, I could have played that a bit more cautiously than I did, but yeah. Prepare the military governor's barracks. Let's reinforce the army. So let's use a sloop. Bearing in mind there is a US Navy vessel. No, they're going to die. We're deploying them off the coast just to move up to reinforce. And ultimately, that's pretty good. Let's build some better roads in Florida. I mean, Florida's 100% Catholic anyway, so we don't really need to do anything here. Could build the university, but... You know what? I think we're going to be pushing up the coast quite nicely. And soon we will take Philadelphia and Boston. Although I could build it. No, that's, mm, mm. no, I don't like building universities and territories like that. With I like building them in proper cities, if you like. So the Panama garrison is looking good. Let's push these Adelante. these um, dragoons up to Panama. Can we trade with anyone else? Hanover, maybe. 
No, nope, sadly not. Let's hit end turn. Let's see how the US responds to our strike. The French may cause problems to the West. However, we will deal with them in due course. We're going to push up continental United States. I wonder if Spain might be getting ready to get up to no good. The United States might. Looks like they're recalling some of their ships. Some fighting near Rome. The Barbary states are continuing. <laughs> yeah, they're still alive. They're doing. They're doing okay. Austria is not going after Venice. I mean, the thing with France to remember in the, the Americas is that they're mostly colonial armies they're raising. And now we've got Florida. We can recruit line infantry and artillery on the mainland. So we can grow our forces if required against a French attack. But like I said, the main target, the main objective is to try and destroy the United States, gain a even better foothold on the East Coast. Especially while Europe is kind of squabbling about who's going to fight who and who's going to do what. And there go the pesky Russians. Could go after Spain, but if I... Yeah, could go after Spain. But I'm, I'm not at a point where I want to send a, a strike force to Madrid just to take out Madrid. Because I don't want to keep hold of it. No, oh, Sweden's on them. Oh, they're just redeploying troops. Or they're just trying to stay safe. Unfortunately, didn't go after us. Great, this sloop can then go up to Pensacola. So we upgraded two brand new tobacco warehouses. So let's keep upgrading. More goods for trade. It's always nice. You're replenishing. You're now repaired. So what you need is a unit of frontiersmen. And I may add a couple of line infantry on top of that. Let's repair these buildings. Let's upgrade, the cra upgrade a craft workshop. Let's upgrade the sugar plantation. You men push up. These guys are going to be part of a garrison of St. Augustine. Let's maybe advance you up. Let's upgrade the governor's residence. Okay, good. Uh, colonial line, 12 pounders. I suppose they do actually have military barracks here in New Orleans, so they can actually recruit colonial line. One more turn until we get measuring tools. That'll upgrade. I'll get us access to top tier roads, so we're going to go on a bit of a building spree there. Hey France. Good. Hey Barbary States, let's trade. They want me to give them Cuba for Algiers, no. Bad deal. 17,000 income a turn, because our trade... Our balance of trade is looking very healthy. But next turn, one of our armies should be in good condition and we can push on to Charleston. I mean, I'm almost 100% convinced Spain is building up an army to attack us. Well, the Americans are fortifying Charleston. The Brits are pushing along the North African coast. Might even be worth trying to make peace with Spain. Because I'm just not interested in going over there. I'm pouring every spare 
gold coin I have into upgrading my economic infrastructure. I can't afford to get sucked into misadventures in Europe, especially because I'll have to hold Madrid, and then that just gives me... It makes me exposed to potential war with France, because I'm bordering the capital, war with Portugal, war with Britain. It just... It opens up a lot of potentially problematic events that I just don't want to get involved in. Not right now. Theoretically, I could potentially land and take Pennsylvania, and then I've got what I want, but I think it feels right to push up the coast. There aren't any American navies worth jumping on to capture ships, unless I can find one of their um, third rates or some such alone, then I'll swarm it with my entire fleet. Jump on it, take it. Oops, Sweden is invading Russia. Measuring tools, and that means all of my territories can build roads. So first of all, who's my, my most valuable region is Bogota. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm kind of saying, you know what, let's make sure Bogota gets roads first. Really, I want all of my South American um, territories to have metalled roads, so I can quickly redeploy around. Um, St. Augustine can actually get... Better farms first. Let's push Colonial Line up to Mr. Serrano. Newman advanced to St. Augustine. I oh, know you wanted um, Frontiersman, not Line, didn't you? Okay, then back at St. Augustine, let's get a couple of units of militia. Let's upgrade these roads because they're cheap. And upgrade the trade port because that's... Okay, maybe don't upgrade the trade port because I want to smash into Charleston. Can I leave Georgia? Oh, I can. So push you guys up first. You guys take the lead. Let's go for Charleston. Good number of troops, but uh, they're not going to stop us. And we've got three and a half thousand to replenish, which should be enough. Which should be enough to cover it. Let's get ready. Charleston, we may have to build a Catholic building and start generating priests to convert the population. Okay, drop my guns on the high ground. I'm going to deploy a bit conservatively because I want to see where their reinforcements come in. All my colonial light infantry, colonial light cavalry together, my ranged and my dragoons on one flank. Yeah. Classic AI. Could potentially jump on them, but I don't really want to just yet. gonna have to take a good portion of our line and advance while keeping more of our line in reserve probably not leave all so much cavalry back Their defences are doing what they're designed to do. In which case, then, let's focus all my artillery on their light dragoons.
if they wish to mer to merge their forces together, I will not stop them. Well, I could theoretically advance on this force here. Show my tribal auxiliary up front. Artillery is effectively useless. The Patriot Cab is negative. Who are you shooting at now? Yeah, that's not bad. Provincial cavalry is a good target, especially as they're going to get seen off in the valley. Okay, now that cavalry threat's nullified, but you men advance up the hill. Actually, you might dart forward to deal with them first. Jump on the horse artillery. Oh, it says it's going to be not suitable targets. There's another. Unit. I want to try and mob the uh, these are on native musket men. Maybe focus on get the charge on the musket auxiliary. You men run to get into position. But it's a downhill charge into the musket men auxiliary. The ranges aren't going to be a problem. Doesn't look like there's anyone else coming from it. Yeah, oh, it's a twelve pound a foot unit. You men run up the hill. Make sure we kill the rangers because they are a reinforcing unit. You men advance up to the gun position. Cavalry takes shelter in the trees. Dragoons and musket auxiliary out on the flank. See, they're up here somewhere. There they are. Using my grenadiers to go after 12 pound a foot unit seems a bit overkill, but I'll take it. Howitzers can limber up because they're now useless. Same with my foot artillery. If they elect now to attack, that's not a bad idea for them. So these might be Native American units, but they are still. Musky Auxiliary, they aren't melee troops, they're small in number, they are skirmishes. Let's 
Get my general over here to help knock them out. My infantry just form out ready. Hit the dragoons. It looks like they're going for my general's bodyguard. Bowman Auxiliary. Kill that last ranger. Yeah, they did go after my general, so he's a bit exposed. That's a lot of light dragoons to potentially kill my general. Native bows, native warriors. We need to be careful. my line my general has fallen at what cost America kill kill These aren't just any troops, these are grenadiers. Oh, they charge my cavalry here. Send you to go after the, the horse. Oh, my cavalry's gonna die. You go for the horse artillery. back charge my dragoons in the flank get my cavalry up, back up to the main fight even in form square these grenadiers mm, they're gonna do okay Don't shoot, charge into them. The wavering, a rear charge will deal with them. So we're putting volleys into their line. The Hessian line to break. Don't need my general. The Grenadiers are doing well, it's just not... I didn't expect them necessarily to do that. Yeah, I shouldn't really have sent this colonial light to go against the horse artillery. They got bounced by enemy cavalry. You men just try hold your own. Mount Tribal Auxiliary form up and just shoot the garrison Minutemen in the flank. Okay, that is the, I think that might be the last of the units that are trying to break through. And the main enemy force here is just collapsed. Oh, 
Let's not go mad. Bring up our reinforcements. Get my grenadiers just to clear out. They're not going to be any use to anyone. My troops are hidden, but I don't want them to be hidden. Keep pushing. Start to pull some of the uh, provincial cavalry off their saddles. Colonial line of foot format. Killed an enemy general, or not the enemy general. It might have been them. Let's maintain the threat. Could do some really good pursue work here, but I need to be careful because they've got they've still got good cavalry. You men form square, hold off the dragoons. I'm sending in some militia, They're sending in Hessian line. The Hessian line is currently well, it's running away now. Excellent. I think actually that might be except for that that militia regiment. All of the enemy infantry. So let's ah no there isn't. That's a regiment of horse right there. Munch into them with a line infantry. There we go. Excellent. They broke as well. We're going to continue just because anyone we don't kill is just someone else we're going to have to kill later on. So you, these units both go after the first regiment of militia, the US Volunteer Regiment. Okay, so you guys go for that militia regiment, you guys go for the first three two one chomp okay so now it's everyone versus this unit go get them they're all spread out because they routed through the town but it is not going to save them Plenty of cavalry coming in to make sure they never see the light of day again. Chompity chomp, chompity chomp. So that was a lot messier than I'd like. So ultimately, I split my force up in lots of different um, sections, which was a bit of a pain to manage. Yes, I lost my general, my brave general. However, let's rebuild the capital. Let's replenish the army, which isn't fully replenished yet. You men can step up. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, Spain, do you want to chill out? Peace and trade. Oh, that's ideal. 
And they're friendly. Good. Because I'm not bothered about attacking Spain just yet. So Charleston is growing quite handily. So we've got measuring tools. I think I am. As much as I don't like it because of the time. Oh, I don't know though. That's nine turns is a lot. Okay, let's get a government by consent to maintain our technology research rate boosts. Okay, let's hit in turn. So you know we're at peace, Spain. You can just do something else. Go after somebody else instead. There you go. The US are combining their forces again. This is why I like having those two two armies cooperating. Is that one army can take the brunt of the the damage, and then the other force is in good is in good uh, strength for subsequent battles. I think the Austrians just destroyed the the American garrison at Rome. That might not be good. We may be about to expand our f our war to France. Because we have gained a larger... Hey, France took out Spain for us. That's quite handy. Scary as well, because it means France is that much stronger. Uh, and they do share a border with us. I think I need to just start flatly recruiting more troops. If Mexico stays, or do, if Mexico stays my ally, I may withdraw my Panama garrison to help uh, attack some of the French islands in the Caribbean, should that prove to be necessary. Okay, Russia's running away from Sweden. Interesting stratagem indeed. Trade. Oh yeah, they're, they're going to gun for us. Don't like our territorial expansion. Keep. Yeah, let's just keep picking up trade with them. Just to force them to... They have to make an active decision to be... Uh, to be the belligerents in this case. Okay, let's go for militia for our garrison. Because we're going to need... Well, we're going to be able to take Martinique. These two regions. I think the Panama garrison is going to be right for doing that. We do have a good force here at Curacao. It's the cheapest cavalry I can get. It's the light cav. Let's get two units of that. That force is pretty much re is effectively ready. It won't need any more expansion than that. So you're replenishing Sebastian Durano. I mean, I would like better artillery but I'm not going to be able to get it ok let's do so fundamentally I don't want yeah, horse artillery I'll, I'll keep one unit pull one unit back to Florida in which case I'm probably better off managing it here One unit of artillery. Maybe even another howitzer unit might be better. Then you guys recruit some militia. Maybe even native warrior auxiliary. Okay, let's advance. 
You're going to hold for a little bit. Let's upgrade farms because we want to try and boost town growth, including Georgetown to get more. More ports is better, but also it gives us more mobility when we're trying to deploy our troops at the east coast. So farms are the order of the day. Upgrade lots of warehouses. St. Mark's has grown. I might upgrade you because that's quite a significant growth in income. 1,500 a turn though. Well, 1,500 left isn't huge. get some militia to bulk out this army because if, if France goes for us we can take these territories which is really good mop up Martinique and then start to threaten New Orleans I mean this area becomes a bit da dangerous but let's hit enter hopefully if we keep if they keep um, agreeing to trade agreements with us they will be forced to be more aggressive in the eyes of the rest of the world if they declare war on us. Go on, get it. Oh, if Austria and France are at war, that's really good. Okay, so that's one, t another turn we've survived. Yeah, if I can get ports built up the east coast, I can redeploy garrison troops really quite quickly. If we don't have ports, I have to rely on the road network, which will take time to be built. Um, or accept that I'm going to have a turn delay deploying troops along the coast. So ports, safe ports are preferable. Um, safe ports with better roads are even better. Let's see, Russia's pushed Sweden back from St. Petersburg. The Ottomans are pushing against Russia. They've taken Astrakhan by the looks of things on the Caspian Sea down here. Sweden's been beaten back from St. Petersburg again. I'm a bit loath to fortify all of my towns. But it does provide a really significant benefit in our ability to defend these colonies should things get tricky. But yeah, America's bringing another army down. Long riflemen. Mercenaries. More long riflemen. Lots of long riflemen. Lots of skirmishes. There's John Sullivan. Harry Hopkins. Second and third rate ship of the line. See, if I had a port up here, I'd base my navy close to the action in the event I can take advantage of uh, some of their losses. I may push you guys out of Charleston, though. Charleston might be worth building a fortifications because they've got... I get the most tax out of them. Farm, meager yield, low yield. So low is 18, meager is 15, yeah, okay. So this army is ready to do some pain against the French if they cause problems. Other than that, slowly accumulate our strength. You are ready to attack Rally. We are probably going to fight this manually to make sure we do wipe these troops out. Um, and also, it's quite a good time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing domination uh, of Grand Columbia against the United States. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>